The number of endangered turtle hatchlings has more than doubled at Rain Island in the state's far north with the help of a bold conservation project. It's the world's most important nesting site for green turtles, but the species has to contend with rising sea levels and overcrowding to survive. Christy Sexton McGrath was given exclusive access to the remote island. A rare first hand glimpse of a late night arrival. They're landing on what scientists call the Galapagos of Australia, the biggest nesting site for green turtles in the world. Tens of thousands swim to the island every year, but rising sea levels are threatening the work they're here to do. Even though she's doing all this fantastic effort, laying a clutch of 100 eggs, they'll probably be flooded on the next high tide and they won't develop. Cramped conditions on the tiny island mean turtles digging to lay their eggs are destroying others and disturbing hatchlings. Sand cliffs are a problem too, but health... Falling off the cliff edges here, getting up, falling onto their backs and they can't right themselves, so they'll just die in those positions. So fencing along the top of those cliffs has stopped them accessing them. To create more space and protect eggs from flooding, a 150 metre section of beach has been raised and reshaped with great results, prompting plans to overhaul more of the island this year. The hatching success has been a lot better in those areas. The actual production of hatchlings to the ocean like these guys here has been improved. Traditional owners are seeing changes across the region. Turtles are coming up in the village all the time and I'm thinking, wow, this is really great. It, it affects, you say one particular area, it affects every, every, every other area. Saving the turtles doesn't come cheap or easy. A public-private partnership is funding the work at a cost of almost $8 million over five years. It's a 15-hour boat trip to the remote national park and a limited number of people are allowed ashore. This turtle will lay thousands of eggs over her lifetime, but only one in every thousand will actually make it to this stage of maturity. This is actually a last bastion of, of hope, and we're in a position to actually give some resilience to the turtle population, the green turtles from here. Laying the groundwork to protect a precious species. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Rain Island.